The Strand Theater in downtown Plattsburgh opened with great fanfare in December of 1924. An Our Gang silent film short and a half a dozen vaudeville acts filled the opening bill. Since then, the theater, which called itself the pride of the North Country, lit up the decades with stellar and not so stellar stage acts and the best movies of the times, all accompanied by the Strand's own live orchestra. Later, the theater survived by closing off the balcony and adding another screen, and then featuring second-run movies and the occasional live stage show. In 2005, the Strand was purchased by grant money and local funds and began the long road back through a vigorous, detailed, and expensive restoration project, all headed by the North Country Cultural Center for the Arts and its volunteer director, Lee Mundy. Well, you've done a marvelous job. I mean, just standing here and looking around. Well, you know, when we started, the only thing you could see was the... Uh, the front of the balcony. That's the only thing we knew we had in here. The rest was covered. It was all covered it up. It was all covered. And there was a drop ceiling from the balcony to the top of the stage. Right. So because there used to be two screens here. Yes. One up in the balcony yes. and one down here. So we really, until we uncovered everything, which really was the first year, was to take anything that wasn't here in 1924 down. Now, it's important to call this a restoration, not a renovation, right? Well, it's a restoration. We, we really are not changing anything. Um, we've had consultants come from New York to say, do not change a thing. This was built for vaudeville, you know, no microphones. It's, it, the acoustics are wonderful. So what we wanted to do is keep the historic detail and, and restore it. You hope to open late summer? That is our goal, uh -huh. and um, we're on track. We do have some funding needs, uh, some cash flow, and, uh, but that's our goal. We should have, by early summer, the chandelier will be go in, and then the seats will go in. And at that point, most of the stuff, as far as restoring the theater, will be done. And then we have to get into the equipment part. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a microphone in sight. Mm -hmm. We don't have a speaker anywhere. So that is part of the new funding that I have through Empire State Development is equipment. And when we get reimbursed from some of our grants from the state, then we'll have the money to use that to, to work with the equipment. This is a real theatrical stage. I wonder how many people realize that. It's not just a movie house. We have an amazing fly space, and uh, you know that's part of our equipment grant and things we need, or the rigging, that uh, so we could take advantage of it. So hopefully you can bring in uh, road shows with all their sets and sceneries, and 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 give them a space to perform. Absolutely. Where does the money come from, Lee, to make all this possible? A lot of different avenues, but um, mostly from very dedicated community members. Um, we have uh, foundations that have given. The businesses have been so generous and, of course, state and federal grants. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for financial support and you're, to finish this off and also volunteer labor. Absolutely. And materials. Well, we have some volunteers here today actually yeah. working on um, some trim. Uh, most of the big work is done by, of course, licensed contractor and it's bid out. But we do have Saturday work groups that paint, do prep work for the contractors, clean, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, but the funding is um, uh, definitely what we need right now. Okay. Are you close? We're very close. With the money and the finished product? Well, we started last year thinking we needed 2.2 million. We've raised over a million dollars in the community and then got some extra grants. So we're really down to that $500,000 range, which is very doable. Um, and, you know, I, I, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. It, it, we're very close. What do you hope to see uh, at the Strand once it's completed? I hope to see it full with a lot of happy people, and that means that we give them what they want. It's not really up to me to decide what the strand is. I think if you want kid recitals or 
traveling Broadway, opera, movies, I think it'll, it'll grow into what the community wants it to be. But we want it to be active, we want it to be a social area, and um, you know, we'll have to start at a certain level because of the equipment that we have or don't have, um, but it'll grow, and it'll grow into what the community wants. I think it will re-energize the, the cultural, I don't know, hunger of the community because that's what we need, live theater, live music. Um, we need to get people back into that habit. We just really want it to be the entertainment hub for the community. I think it will also add to the pride that Plattsburgh has in its downtown, which is so cute. And um, it's really growing, and I think this will just pop it to the next level. Well, if Lee Mundy has her way, and so far she has, this old theater will soon be the grand dame of Plattsburgh, New York, the anchor for all the arts of the North Country. <laughs>